Good morning, I'm Matt Schwartz, uh, Chair of the Worksite Wellness Council of Louisville. Here with Mike Kramer, who's with the Y of Louisville. And, um, and I'm gonna let you kind of share, because I know there's a, the, you, got a, you got 14 hats, it sounded like. So what are uh, come, a couple of the main things that you do at the Y? Well, I'm a District Executive Director, so I oversee our YMCA Norton Commons, our newest facility, and then I also oversee our Southeast branch. And previously, I was our Community Health Initiatives Director, so I oversee a lot of the community health initiatives, including our worksite wellness, and I continue to oversee the worksite wellness. Okay. Well, and I know we had a great discussion this morning. It was really about uh, kind of uh, community and family and how that and how that uh, plays into a, a wellness journey. So you know, what, what I mean, kind of recap a little bit of the that premise of why that's important. Well, for me, for people making a health change, uh, you need support around you. So when you can get your family involved, your spouse, your kids, uh, even extended family. Uh, even friends, uh, you know, if you've got somebody who you know is going to meet you at the park or meet you at the Y, you're much more likely to show up because you're not going to leave them out and be there by themselves. So I think it's that, it's that support that really makes you help people stay committed to a, a healthy habit over time. Okay, yeah, and, and you know, we also talked about, you had one particular uh, anecdotal scenario of, of how somebody got engaged and then went on. Maybe give us the basics of that because I know it's an interesting story. Yeah, Eugene's story. Uh, Eugene works for Brown Foreman, and we did a program with them similar to the diabetes prevention protocol, uh, weekly classes, a lot of nutrition that helped during their work day. It made it very easy for them to attend, and Eugene uh, lost a considerable amount of weight, 40 or 50 pounds over the course of the 16 weeks, has maintained that weight loss. And just by virtue of him getting healthier, his wife joined him on that journey, and she lost 20 to 25 pounds herself. So, again, making that healthy choice an easy choice at work, providing these opportunities that will extend beyond just the employee to their family, in my opinion, is how we're going to help you know, everybody get back to the schools and work like offices, the community organizations that are going and, and you know, in that particular story, we, it, it led to a discussion about okay, so there were some incentives. They gave away T-shirts and money, etc., got them involved. But then, really, the comments that came afterwards in terms of why did they stay involved, I think, were the most interesting. Yeah, the relationships that were built between the group became such a kindred, supportive, just a safe place, if you will, for them to talk about their, their, their successes and their failures. Uh, and when they rated that unit as program, the incentives were the lowest rated piece of why they motivated to stay with it and continue their journey. I think that's real telling. Well, what struck me, you talked about, well, they talked about their grandkids, that they wanted to play with their grandkids, and the fact that they really, their relationship was better, meaning the, just husband and wife, because they were engaged in wellness together. Exactly, and then when you think of quality of life, that's what really gets me motivated. Now the husband and wife have a better relationship. They're going to be better grandparents for their kids, the grandkids, and for their kids, better productive employees. So it just all multiplies. So, it, so I'm an employer, and I am thinking about how to engage families or, or kind of create that community. What What are some things that come to mind? What are the things you say? This, this is. These would be your first steps. I think just raise awareness. Uh, that's part of the first stages of behavior changes with the employee populations when you can. Have a speaker come in and talk about health, uh, how to get your family healthier. What are, what are your family's uh, wishes and desires and dreams? You know, do you want to travel when you get older? That's a big motivation. Yes. You want to be active when they right. age. You know, we all like to retire to be able to be active and travel and move. So as an employer, I think it's our responsibility with our employees and with other people's employees to help them on that journey as part of just being a good human. Well, and certainly I know the Y obviously has programs that, that uh, people can engage, and so, um, you know, again, I know we've got your uh, PowerPoint we're going to put on the on the website, and so people can uh, certainly reach out to you if that's something that they want to engage with. Yeah, and we're, you know, we're obviously able to provide all that too at the Y, so when it extends beyond the work site place, we, we are very open and willing and ready to have people come in and get them started on that journey if they need a little bit more assistance to do that. Great. Well, Mike, thank you. This was a great uh, morning, and if, if uh, you didn't join us, uh, make sure the third Thursday of every month, nearly, we uh, meet at Baptist East Milestone, and we'll look forward to seeing you at our next event. Thank you.